Hey, what's the defense and art of this V6? And when looking through the community, I've seen that there are two styles that modelers tend to uh, use for curved and rounded models if you're trying to cheat that look in Minecraft. Um, and the first of these is on the left hand side, you see here, it's using a voxel look. And uh, on the second side here, or the right side here, you see it's using rotated elements to achieve that look. Now there are pros and cons to both of these, and I'll be giving you guys tips on why you should use one or the other in certain situations and the drawbacks of uh, choosing that style or the benefits of choosing that style. And I tend to use voxels for mines. I don't want to sway your decision here, but um, uh, I tend to use voxels for the curve look simply because it takes a lot less time than uh, using these rotated elements. For voxels, you simply have to place them in a curved manner, as you see here, uh, just like in a circle isk kind of thing but um, you can also do it using a mesh like this but uh, you run into the problem of it's starting to look too detailed if you see here uh, this does not look like something that would fit into Minecraft uh, if you look at this it's very spherical and for Minecraft you need to have that kind of blocky look or that pixely look um, and if you're going too curved uh, then you can't really achieve that look anymore. You need to strike that balance between too detailed and not detailed enough. Because if you just have something like a 90 degree angle, that's not curved at all. And you and if you're trying to make that look for something like a ball or a, a soccer ball in Minecraft, you're going to want a balance between too detailed and not detailed enough. And I find it that if you don't achieve that balance well, then you won't be able to pull off this look. And you're going to have to uh, start making all your other models detailed as well if you're making this super detailed, this curve to look super detailed. And you have to make your environment super detailed as well to make it um, fit into Minecraft itself. But the benefit of this is that, um, as I said before, it takes much less time. And if you're doing it this way and you're making a lot of models, it will add up. Like if you're doing this, uh, for all your models because you need to choose one style or the other if you, for your map or whatever you're doing and if you choose this it's going to take way more time it's going to take way less time because it's very easy to just put this in and if you're super lazy you can also use a mesh or uh, you go into voxels and just create a sphere right there it's very easy to make it but modelers also tend to use this rotated element look like if you look at Sam Resources models most of them are using this kind of look but this is much more time consuming and I'll explain to you guys why. Um, you're gonna have to go into the almost de um, decimals if you want to uh, avoid these corners. Now you guys don't know already, um, elements can be rotated to uh, 90, negative 90 degrees, negative 45 degrees, and um, zero degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. So it's not really a large spectrum of how you can rotate it. But the benefit of that is it's almost impossible to not get that Minecraft feel. You would definitely achieve that feel if you don't put too many and go too overboard on this. Um, but it almost entirely guarantees that you'll achieve that Minecraft look so you don't run into the problem of too detailed over here. And for me personally, it's more time consuming as I said before and that will just increase exponentially if you're making a lot of models and you run into the problem of these pointed edges because as I said before you don't really have a large spectrum of rotated uh, angles to use so you're gonna have to have some overlapping if you're using two textures that's gonna be a nightmare it's just gonna overlap and it's just gonna have that flickering effect in Minecraft so that's why it takes a lot more time to position these correctly so that it is something more similar to this where um, you don't have that much of a pointed edge. Of course, I could improve this more by moving it inwards more and stuff, but uh, this is just an example of what you can do. And I see that a lot of modelers um, starting out will use Crayfisher's model creator, which is I used what I use, so I used a lot more of these rotated elements back in the day. But now it's just way too time consuming because I don't have enough time to spend like an hour or so for these curved edges depending on the what type of model it is. So if you value time, I would definitely go for the voxel look, but I agree that if you have more time and the patience to configure these correctly so that these line up and this lines up, definitely, definitely, definitely 
go for that rotated element look. Now both of these styles work better in different scenarios. If you're going detailed for voxels, um, I would make everything detailed as well because it will make it not feel alien from your map. So if you're choosing this style, go for all voxels. If you're choosing this style, go for all rotated elements. And for this as well, you need to make your environment detailed as well if you're using too many voxels. So uh, you need to make sure that your your world fits with this kind of model. Um, but if you're trying to make it fit into Minecraft as possible without much work, this is a better choice of using less models in your map. But um, so yeah, whichever style you guys choose, make sure that you do it for all the same models. And I hope that you guys have expanded or understood more the style you're trying to achieve and which one works for you. For me, personally, voxels work, but I know people like Samosaurus who are great modelers who have the time and patience to use these uh, curved rotated. But um, I know I'm trying to like, make it seem like voxels doesn't work right in the Minecraft look, but if you strike that balance between detailed and not detailed enough, it will look the Minecraft look. And uh, that just takes trial and error to find how much you should use. And for this, it just takes um, skill of going into like the 0 .001 decimal or something like that to line these up. So I hope you guys understood more of your style. Uh, leave in the comments which one you chose and which style works better for you and give me reasons why if I uh, missed any in this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.